and you don't need the gunnels. I've been to Zambia, I've been to Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Rwanda, and all that. So, guys, travel. I've been to Ethiopia as well, and then Kenya, so Tanzania. So, guys, you need to travel. And <laughs> What were you doing? And the people introduce yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. My name is Alison Bayo. I'm from DRC, and I was doing French studies and art advertising at the University of Namibia. But that is my second qualification because I did computer science before. And uh, you did it this here. This is my yes. This is my second second qualification at UNA. Okay. Yes. So it was. So you should get these are like two degrees or. Uh, a diploma and a degree. The first one was a diploma. Yes. And what is this now? It's a degree. Honestly. So were, were you exempted in terms of uh, any courses, that, or uh, you have to you have to start from first year in in, in the. Yes, degree? I had to start from first year because I finished courses. Yes. If it was the same course, I could have been exempted from certain modules. And yes. Years. Now, uh, and then one thing I noticed about you guys is that you, uh, you have your ceremonies, like graduation ceremonies at the Ate Hotel. You don't do your graduation ceremonies from here? Yes, we... Has it always been like that or is it just a new thing? Yeah, it has only been like that. But then in 2022, it was here. But then the... Covid? No. What? It was not Covid. It was because of the, the number of students that graduated. And yes. the space like was small. Also, like before the numbers became as big as they are now. Yes, like mostly for faculty of education, and then uh, there's nursing, there's law. Yes. There are like a lot. Yes. So it's better to have a bigger place, and then yeah, have the ceremony there. Yes. Cool stuff. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, she might say she's from Congo, but she's always lived in Namibia. Have you, have you always lived in Namibia, or no. are you actually from Congo? Yes. So I'm, when you close, you go to Congo or what? Yeah, but it has been like four years that I didn't go back. You've never gone. So from the time that you came, you've never gone back home. No, I mm. went. I went because. No, I don't mean doing your uh, diploma program. I mean doing your degree program. Did you no, go? No, I didn't go. Yes, that's because what I mean. Because of COVID, and then after that, I just decided like let me just finish, and then if I have to go, I will just go. Yes. Yes. How has been your experience? Uh, at the beginning, it was not easy. Why? Because of the language or what? What? What was the name? The language, yes, but I already knew English. Like from home, yes. and then also did English in Zambia like yes. for six months. Oh, you've been to Zambia? Yes. Which part of Zambia? Uh, Kitwe and Lusaka as well. Oh. Yes. So uh, I did English for six months, but then I came with that certificate. They said I have to do English again at UNAM to yes. be admitted. That was doing the uh, and, uh, diploma program? Or? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then for the degree, it was also it was difficult. Because it's, how do I say, hmm. it depends, you find nice people and you find people that are big. So it's, it's all dependent on the students, not the size of the culture of the university, right? Like uh, if you make, uh, what you're attracted to as a person, uh, if you find those people, you find your clique, isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, typical of any university, so it, it's okay. Yeah. But I need the economy to travel around Saturday. You, you don't? You don't, really. you, you, you don't. I've been in so many countries and you don't need the government. I've been to Zambia, I've been to Mozambique, Zimbabwe, Rwanda, and all that. <laughs> so, guys, travel. I've been to Ethiopia as well, and then Kenya, so Tanzania. So, guys, you need to travel. <laughs> she's, she's more travel than that. Even, uh, but that's common, that's common with uh, people that, that travel around uh, mostly Nigerians and Congolese. That's, yes. all, that's something mm -hmm. I've come to notice. Yeah. But South Africans and Namibians, you guys don't travel. Uh, but you guys are Western South Africans. No, but the thing is, the thing is, I think I don't want to say it, but it's a money issue. No. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, let me, okay. Let's, let's, let's budget it. Uh, transport from here to South Africa is like one five. You know that, right? The yeah. bus. I don't, unless you're planning to fly. Yeah, it's one point five. It's one five. Like, okay. You get to no, join. But, but, but. A no. lot of Namibians travel to South Africa. Is it the no? The only no, you know, go to. Yourself. Yeah, no, they are yes. mm -hmm. you, are you doing what? That's the only country they limit themselves. Okay. Yes, but from here to to Zambia, 
if you have to go to Lusaka with the bus, it's one, one four. two it's or one, one four. four. You get yes, or sometimes you can even get when they have specials for students, yes. it one yes. thousand. Yes. And to, yes. So and you uh, listen, that's that's yeah. a thing. Yeah. Yeah. The, way you, the way you move around yeah. is yeah. friendly. No, 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 there's, let, me, let me give you an example of the way I travel, like mostly. Oh. Like, like um, for example, if I'm going to South Africa, because I know security, I, I never travel. Like, when I come to Namibia, I would simply get an Airbnb and stuff like that. But that's easy because of the security. But I wouldn't do that if I was going to South Africa. You get the idea, right? It's just a different ball game. So I only travel to South Africa, I've got a friend there. I just say, oh, uh, how's your accommodation right now? I've got a bunch of friends. Become friendly with the people. And then it's okay. Uh, I think uh, a week, you can come and spend a week. So all I have to budget for is pretty much my transportation and others maybe get some food stuff while it's there. You cannot just be eating someone's food. You get the idea, right? So the cost already reduces. All you have to travel I mean, worry about is that uh, transportation. And then you have a local tour guide. That's your friend. He knows the place and stuff like that. So you guys should travel. No, we will. We will. Be <laughs> I will. We 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 will. I, I recommend you do come. She's struggled around. In fact, she's struggled more than I have. She's, <laughs> she's already my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you make it better to me. Yeah. That, that's, that's the thing I recommend. Just, just make, uh, say, your school is very international. Very Thanks for taking the time to visit my YouTube channel. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, you click on the notifications to get the notifications of every video that I upload. I try to upload every week, sometimes every day of the week, but definitely each week you expect a video. So make sure you click on the subscribe, like this video, and there's much more on the playlist. So visit the channel and see you around.